how to custom fonts on iPad Pro 2020 Procreate and Photoshop friendly. Hey y'all, so today I am going to show you how to install fonts on your iPad Pro. The first thing I'm going to need you guys to do is go to the App Store where I want you to go ahead and search for an app called Font Manager. So go ahead and type that into your search bar. And here today I'm going to show you how to use um, this one here in the top right. Once you get it downloaded, go ahead and open it up. Once you open it, you're immediately going to see all of the installed fonts on your iPad. If you want to just see a list of the ones that you have downloaded, you'll go ahead and click available. When you click available, you'll see all your TTF files here. And you'll also be able to see previews of the fonts when you click on them. Um, so once you go ahead and get that downloaded, what you're going to want to do is go to a website that you know of where you can download custom fonts. I'm going to type in thefont.com. Literally love this website. But yeah, so I'm just going to click on something simple. I'm not going to do too much of a search, but if you see here at the top, they have different categories, fancy, foreign, techno, gothic, basic script, any type of font that you want literally so I'm gonna just go ahead and click this first one here it looks pretty cool once you find the font you want go ahead and download this is not going to automatically download it's going to pop up at the bottom go ahead and click download once you click download you're gonna see a check mark on it once it's done so you go ahead and open it up so when you click open in you're gonna scroll down until you see your font manager app if you don't see your font manager app go ahead and just click on more when you click on more, you're going to see all of the apps available on your iPad in general that can install these fonts. So go ahead and click on Font Manager. And when you click on Font Manager, it automatically brings you here and it lets you know that the TTF file has been extracted. So go ahead and press OK. Go ahead and click on your font. You'll see your preview there just to make sure that it looks like what you want it to look like. And then you'll go ahead and hit install up in the top right. When you hit install, it's going to redirect you to uh, Safari and it's going to say that the website is trying to download a configuration profile and they're asking if you want to allow this. Yes, you want to allow this. If you ignore it, your font will not be installed. So go ahead and click allow. Once you click allow, it's going to say that you can review the profile and settings. So go ahead and close this. Go ahead and open up your settings. So when you go to settings, you're going to go to general and you're going to scroll down. You're going to see fonts and you're also going to see profiles listed separately. So to install the font, we are going to go to profiles. When we click on profiles, you'll see um, at the bottom here where it says configuration profiles. These are fonts that have already been installed and the new fonts that you have downloaded that have yet to be installed will be at the top underneath the downloaded profile. Go ahead and click on that font and when you do, in the top right, it's going to allow you to press install and then it's going to uh, ask you for your passcode. Go ahead and put your passcode in and then go ahead and hit install once more and then once more. So a total of hitting install three times. Yes, very thorough. After you've done that, go ahead and hit done. And then you can actually go back to your font manager app and then you'll see that your font has been installed. If you wanna go ahead and get started um, using whatever program software you're using, go ahead and open up that application. I'm opening up Photoshop and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit my type tool and I'm going to uh, just type my name again, you know, why not? And what I'm gonna do is select this. And then I'm going to go to the drop down menu on the right side underneath text and I'm going to find my font that I just installed. It was called Victoria. I'm going to click on it and it's going to change my font. And then you can change the size, you know, do whatever you normally would do. But that's how you'll get custom fonts on your iPad. So um, thank you guys for watching. I hope this video definitely helps someone. Um, if you have any ideas for more videos or more things that you would like to see, please do comment down below and tell me what those things are. And if you would, give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe as well as hit that notification bell so that you know when I drop new tips and tricks. Thanks. See you guys next time.